Records show two high-ranking Knox County Sheriff's Office officials have been punished after a drunken incident in the old city and a cover-up. Chief of Detectives Brad Hall was demoted to captain and communications director Kimberly Glenn received a written reprimand according to an internal affairs file. The sheriff calls it an unfortunate incident. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan joins us with the details of what we know happened and how people responded to it. Cole? Robin, John, this started with a drunken fight between two off-duty KCSO officers back in April, but it wasn't investigated until months later because senior department officials did not say anything about it. A night of drinking in Knoxville's old city has left a headache for the Knox County Sheriff's Office. An investigation shows then-Captain Brad Hall was trying to drive his county-issued Tahoe home drunk, and a lieutenant was trying to stop him. The two got into a scuffle, and Hall's wife called KCSO Communications Director Kimberly Glenn. He knows he can't drive that county car drunk. Glenn tried to call the lieutenant and even had county dispatchers page him. Hey, it's dispatch. He didn't answer. Eventually, Glenn and her husband found Hall at a parking lot under a bridge in the old city and got him home. But Glenn, her husband, who was also a KCSO employee, and the at least three other officers involved did not report it. Just days later, the sheriff promoted Hall to chief of detectives. An internal investigation didn't begin until July. In an undated memo, Glenn wrote, quote, I did what I thought was right at the time for a longtime friend and colleague. I am sick over it. She got a written reprimand after the investigation. Hall and the lieutenant were suspended for two days and demoted. In a statement, Sheriff Spangler said, quote, It's unfortunate this incident occurred. Once I learned of it, then I took the corrective actions necessary. Late this afternoon, a statement of support from County Mayor Glenn Jacobs. At some point, all of us have issues, uh, but I'm sure that the, the sheriff's office led by Sheriff Spangler is going to work through those. With questions still unanswered as the sheriff's office confronts an investigation in its highest ranks. Hey, Cole, let's talk about what's next in our investigation. A lot, John. We've requested electronic communications within the department. We also asked for an interview with the sheriff. We want to know if he still has confidence in his communications director. He sent that statement you heard instead. We've also requested personnel files as we try to figure out exactly how all of this went down. Certainly more to come. Cole Sullivan, thank you.